Hello all, in this particular tutorial, I'll cover a backup misconception that we have around the no archive log mode and incremental backup. I would like to ask you a question. Can you take incremental backup such as level 0 and level 1 in no archive log mode? Probably you might already know the answer to this question. But if you do not know the answer, what could be the answer? Take a pause, think about it. Now let me go to the next slide where I'm answering this question. There's a lot of misconception among DBAs that incremental backups are only possible in archive log mode. Answer is Oracle fully supports incremental backups in no archive log mode. Let me repeat, Oracle fully supports incremental backups in no archive log mode. Only thing is you need to perform consistent shutdown of your database and database should be in the mod mode for our men to take incremental backups. Now that we have seen the, the answer, if you don't want to watch the tutorial, that's fine because you already know the answer. But if you want to see this in live, let's connect to the database. So here I got, let me set the environmental variable. Both these sessions are connected to the same server DB1. So let me set the environmental variable here. Let me set the environmental variable here. On your left in the white screen, on your left in the white screen, I will be connecting via SQL plus. On your right in the blue, I will be connecting via Armen. That's why I opened two sessions on both the sides. Now before, let's connect to the database here. And before doing anything, let's identify if this particular database is in the archive log mode or it is in the no archive log mode. So to do that, we have, we have multiple options. You can either use archive log list command or you can use a query select log mode from v$ database and both is clearly showing that it is in no archive mode and this also shows this particular database is in no archive log mode so before trying to do something before trying to do anything let's see if we have any backups of this particular system if we have any backups for this particular database so to do that i'm going to say list backup And you can see specification does not match any backup in the repository, which means this particular database do not have any backup. Now, what I'm going to do before trying to take the backup, I'm going to create a table called employee. And let's say first employee called rock joins our organization. So I'm going to take all of these commands and I'm going to hit the enter. And you can see that the first employee called rock had joined our organization. Now that we have got a table created and we got some records in our database, let's shut down this particular database because we need to be in the mount mode. We need to be in the mount mode for our backup to work. So let's shut down and start this database in the mount mode. So let's, I'm going to hit both of these commands. So shut immediate and start up mount. I've initiated both of these commands. And as you can see, the database has been closed. Instance has been shut down. I'm waiting for it to, I'm waiting for it to start in the mount mode. Once it is started in the mount mode, let's go connect here and use the RMAN target to take the first backup and that would be our level zero backup. The first backup that we are going to take will be the backup level zero backup. And you can see that we are able to take the level zero backup. And if I now do list backup, if I do list backup, then you can see this is the incremental level zero backup level is zero type is incremental so we have taken incremental level zero backup now let's open this particular database into the well, let's open because we need still need to do some more transactions so i have opened this particular database and now what we what we are going to do is we are going to say that second employee has joined our organization and this time it is water so i have inserted one more record and then I selected from employee. So you can see one record created and now water had joined our organization. So now that second employee had joined, let's shut this database again and start up in the mount mode. And once the database is started, then what we are going to do is we are going to, we are going to connect using our main target and we are going to take a level one backup. The database has been Closed, database has been dismounted. Now the instance will shut down and the database will come back in the mount mode. Because I have initiated both the commands together, the database will come back in the mount mode. Now, once the database is, so that you can see here, database is mounted. So let's connect to the RMAN target. And now let's, let's take the 
incremental level one database backups. Now remember one thing, remember one thing, when I take the incremental level one backup, when I'm taking the level one backup, there are two employees in our organization. So we have got rock and water, and this time I have taken the level one backup. So if I run list backup command, if I run the list backup command, you should be able to see this is a level one incremental backup, all good. Now what I'm going to do, let me exit from here because we have taken both the backups. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this database back in the open mode. So that's done. Let me exit or instead of exit, let me clear the screen. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, as you can, as you already know that we have got, we have taken two backups. And when I took, took the second backup, I had two employees in our organization, rock and water. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, let's think that I have third employee joining. So I got third employee called Air who joined our organization. So right now I got three, three employees. I'm not going to take any further backup. I'm not going to take any further backup. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to look at select file name from DBA data files. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of this. So they are in the same location. So let me go to that particular location. LS minus LRT, you can see. So let me do LS minus L. And you can see we got all the DBFs, system, temp, undo. So all of these DBF files, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say remove star dot DBF. So all the DBF files, let's get rid of them ls minus l so we have only the control and do logs file and now what i'm going to do i'm trying to shut clean shut down the database so shut immediate let's see if it is able to shut down so i'm trying to shut clean shut down the database after deleting this all the dbf files and we lost the communication which potentially means that database got crashed the database crashed on its own so if i do ps minus ef grep pmon you can see that Oracle PMON process is no longer there. When I deleted this particular DBF files and when I try to do the shut immediate, the instance crashed on its own. Right now, the database, if I try to bring the database back online, it won't come again because it will say missing data file. We already know that database will not come online. So I'm not going to show it to you. I don't want to waste your time. Now, what I'm going to do now is let me let me restore this particular database. So now I have got two backups, incremental backup and the and, uh, Incremental level zero backup and the level one backup and to 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 start to restore the database the database should be in the mount mode so let's put the database in the mount mode and then connect here our main target and what we need to do is we need to first restore the database so I, database is mounted so let's say restore database so let's rest, the database is getting restored give it a minute that's finished restore. So the restore is completed. Let's exit clear. Let's connect back using our man and let's do the recover database. And media recovery also completed. So that looks good. Now exit clear, come back here and let's say alter database open. So let's try to open the database and let's say no reset logs mode and that's done let's let's close let's let's now connect to the database and let's see if we have got the records in our employee table and you can see we got all of the three employees and let's see if we have got all the data files so we got all the data files back in our database now one thing that I would like to say that when I took the second incremental level backup, when I took the second incremental level burn backup, that time I had only two employees, rock and water. I did not have the air. However, however, when I restored the database and when I restored the database, that time the air also appeared. Even though I deleted all the DBF files or system, sysox, temp, undo and users, when I restored the database and recover the database, the air again came back. How that happened, I would not answer that question. I would like you to think about it. 
probably you already know the answer but if you don't know the answer think about it try to find out why the air is still present in the database because when we took the backup we only had the rock and water now and i just want to prove to you that all of this particular thing was done when the database was in no archive mode you can see that this particular database was in no archive log mode thank you for watching i hope you learned something new i hope you learned that we can take the level zero and level one incremental backups in no archive log mode and i hope i was able to clear your misconception thank you and see you in next tutorial bye bye